Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. I am alive, I'm still here, I've made it. Things are getting easier for me. Thank you for all of your support and your patience. It really means a lot. And if I didn't have it, then I would just simply have no motivation to continue and to continue doing these videos. So it really means a lot to me. The release schedule this week wasn't to my liking. It wasn't uh, what I expected it to be. I tried to sort of squeeze out a couple of videos um, like on the Warhammer Wednesday and uh, I think on Thursday I did as well. And now today, there's something I'm looking forward to today, which is the, the big reveal at, I think, 2 o'clock or so. Uh, so I will be doing another video covering um, what Games Workshop have, have revealed at, at that point. It's not going to be included in, it, in this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching the videos every day, at, you know, except for this week and a little bit of last week. If you'd like to show your support in other ways, um, please do consider purchasing all of your Warhammer uh, goodness from Element Games uh, by using my affiliate link down below and I'll put it in the, uh, the comments as well and um, it helps this channel out if you use the link and it doesn't cost you any extra doing that way and as a plus you do save you know up to 25% off of your, your Warhammer and I use them all the time. Let's go on to the Warhammer community uh, website let's have a look from last week so 15th of August I, I was able to pick myself up and, and do a video um, from about that time. Uh, there was a, a look at the, the pre-orders for the Warhammer Underworlds Warbands, not really my cup of tea, uh, but I, I did uh, cover what Games Workshop had um, to cover to release. And then uh, the next week preview, um, which we're going to have a look at these um, pre-orders today, is all about um, Snotlings and uh, you know Necromunda. Um, there's this House of Blades, there's these funky cool models, um, although uh, you know there are some duplicate, duplicates uh, in here, and uh, you know you can really see see them here with these uh, phalanx, uh, not spheranx, but phalanx um, creatures. Uh, you know, and then you've also got these house of chains, uh, six ogrins, so you can bring ogrins to your uh, necromunda um, gangs, and then some nice looking dice. And some more for Middle Earth and Lord of the Rings. And then some more for Aeronautica Imperialis and uh, Snotlings for Blood Bowl. And they look pretty cool. I like this this thing, this moon type creature thing. And some dice and a novel and some novels that are finally out in paperback. And then, yeah, so Saturday, big preview online. Um, uh, there's going to be something to do with uh, Horus Heresy as well. So I'm quite excited about that. That's... Um, Keep me going for a bit of the week. Um, so let's let's go back and uh, have a look at the other articles. So there's one for Never Chosen, House of Blades building an Escher gang, uh, the Crud Creek Nose Pickers take the uh, Grid Grid Gridiron Gridiron, and um, get ready for the next Warhammer preview online. So that's later today, and I'll do a video of that. Know your green skins, Rumor Engine looks like some kind of ghost type spirit kind of thing. Uh, a Johnny Fraser Allen's awesome Oryx. Um, Age of Sigmar, Middle Earth, um, leading the charge with Irma, Underground Dogfights, Want Your Tales of uh, Darkness submissions for Black Library, uh, Spike Journal Issue 10 for Snotlings, Trolls and More, Giving the Underhide uh, a Lick of Paint, Enter the House of Blades, Snotlings from the uh, Gridiron, uh, Gridiron, I still can't pronounce that, uh, Designing Irma, Combat Patrol um, number five, Horus Heresy pre orders. Yes, uh, you know, Forge World had some pre orders up uh, yesterday. You've got Tools of the Trade, um, so you've got uh, a new set of 10 bolters compatible with Mark 3, 4, 5, and 6 Space Marines, and you've got some bayonet attachments as well. Not only that, you've got some weapon options for the Tartarus um, t uh, kit. I, I really wish that they'd done this like earlier. Um, to coincide with the plastic kits, I guess you could still get them about that time. But uh, interesting, you know, the timing that they've brought these back, uh, back in black. So you've got these um, Horus Heresy books, book one and book five. I don't know why it's just one and five. I think uh, the others have have come out, but they're just normal books. They don't, ha you know, you can see there. It looks like they've got the that they're hardback and that they've got the. Um, corner protectors uh, but they're not they're just softback uh, versions and I think they're a bit pricey but we'll have a look at those and um, very soon on Forge World's web store 
Then you had uh, Big Brothers uh, Season 2, Episode 7, Cookout. Uh, House of Blades, new rules um, for, for the Escher. Azir updated, 40k app uh, news. So you've got uh, Azir, powerful tool that you can build army rosters. So it's great that they've um, uh, updated the app there. Coming soon, plan your matched armies. And you can download them both on um, you know the App Store and Google Google Store. And then finally, biotransference. A little um, look at uh, biotransference and uh, how this works. And obviously, we get a, a look at some juicy new artwork coming out in the new Necron Codex and the juicy new uh, Necron um, uh, monoliths and the Scorpec Lords. And yeah, just fantastic looking new artwork. And um, brilliant. Can't wait for um, you know new Necrons and the new Necron Codex. Hopefully, we'll get that. Uh, we'll we'll get an announcement today. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll tomorrow on Sunday and um, they will Games Workshop will announce that they're going to be up for pre-order next weekend or maybe they might pull a fast one and say well the Space Moons are we can only find out tomorrow so let's now have a look at Forge World and have a look at these new books and um, I say new weapon upgrades and things it's great that they've advertised it on the front page right here a um, bit of Middle Earth and then yeah the, the uh, new model there and uh, if you look here they're obviously advertising the and paperback versions of those books but we can find them all under new and pre-orders there's six pre-orders uh, so you've got middle earth strategy game battle game best of white dwarf magazine 30 pounds there uh, i think that looks like hardback as well and 21 battle reports 128 pages that's all right and then you can have it uh, the e-publication and then these are the um, legion umbra bolter sets 12 pound 50 if you're interested so 10 of them, along with nine bayonets, I think it looks like. Doesn't show them with the bayonets on, which is a bit odd, but yeah. Oh, it actually says you get 10 um, combat blades. Okay. Even though they're showing nine there, but it does say 10. Interesting, okay. Then you've got the Legion Tartarus Terminator Power Axes set. Uh, so you're getting the five power axes and a power sword and the different arms and uh, little shoulder plates. I like that they do this uh, now with their, their products. That's quite cool. Um, so, yeah, you get five axes, five arms, five shoulder pads and a power sword, all for your £14. That's enough to kit out, you know, one of your Tartarus um, Terminator squads. And then the two books, £45 um, for book one and book five, both in softback. Um, book one, 288 pages, full colour, and book five, I think it's the same. No, a, bit, a little bit less, 272 pages. Um, I don't actually have book five. I started from book six, and I've got six, seven, and eight. Um, but yeah, they can be yours for £45 each. Then let's jump on over to Games Workshop and have a look at all this Necromunda uh, goodness and things. So straight away they're advertising um, new gang there. And then next page they've got the Spike issue and uh, the Snotlings and then Aeronautica. Um, so nothing for 40k as such but I think that will change next weekend. If we click on pre-orders it's saying that there's 40 um, but if we go high to low have a little close-up of this so you've got the charge of the Rohirrim uh, 171 pounds for all those then you've got the slave ogrin gang six ogrins for 50 pound that's all you get though for your 50 pounds so you could say that they're like 10 pound each I don't know whether that's good I think it's all right I mean it look a bit odd if you only got three of them for like 30 um, so so yeah 50 pound for six of them I guess is alright. I mean it look a bit odd. Uh, you know, if it was twenty five pounds for three, maybe you guys would like three, but I think having six is a is a full gang. It's all, all that you need. Um yeah, including in the pre orders for some reason is the uh Beast Grave uh, models, but then you've got the uh, hardback book that was advertised on Forge World, and then you've got House of Blades hardback, twenty eight pounds here for Necromunda. It's hundred and twenty eight pages. Um maybe they've just got a thing this month of creating 128 page hardback books but there we go 28 pound uh, you've got a blood bowl double sided snotling pitch and dugout set uh, for 28 pounds so it is double sided 
Um, got a few mushrooms on it, which is really quite cool. Um, yeah, so if you're into Blood Bowl and you're into Snotlings, that is a must buy. And you've got Imperial Naval Avenger Strike Fighters, £26 for four of them. So what, £6.50 each? Little um, plane, I guess you could look at it that way. You've got a Crud Creek Nose Picker Snotling Blood Bowl team. Nose Pickers, what a name for a, a Blood Bowl team. Brilliant, £26. And that includes everything there. Loads and loads of models. Um, really, really quite cool. If you're gonna, if you've been waiting for a long time to pick up um, Snotlings as a team, they're, they're now available. And then you've got the Escher Death Maidens and Wild Runners. I think twenty six pounds is all right if you can get past like the duplicated models. Um, but yeah, you've got the Death Maidens, and then you've got uh, Jotun H Grade Industrial Servitor Ogrins, which looks like um, you're getting two Ogrins there from the actual box set. So you either get two for £25 or you get all six for 50 Yeah, I, th I think I'd rather just get the six. Um, it just works out better value. And then you've got the Beast Grey stuff that was up for last weekend. And then you've got Iama, finally. Uh, Marshal of the Riddermark for £20. And you've got Hobbit Good Profile Card Pack for 16 Snotling Card Pack for 16 Hobbit um, Evil Profile Pack and Dwarfs Profile Pack for 16 Necromunda open hive war card pack um, and then the Escher gang tactics the Ogren tactics and the zone mortalis all of those packs are £9.50 you've got house of blades dice set for £10 and the house of chains dice set for £10 um, you're getting eight dice there which yeah is over a pound per dice um, yeah it seems like this weekend is just about cards. Lots and lots of card packs up for up for sale. And then you've got the spike issued number ten, which is nine pounds. You've got a, a paperback book for of uh, No Good Men. Interesting odd cover there for it. It looks reminiscent as a as a uh, sort of crime novel, and it says a Warhammer crime anthology there for forty k. Um, so you've got uh, a selection of um, stories by Guy Haley, Chris Rate. Uh, Gray McNeil. Um, haven't really heard much of Darius Hinks or Gareth, uh, or even Mark Collins. But um, yeah, nice selection. I mean, I've always been very intrigued with sort of crime novels and 40k, so I might pick that one up at some point. And um, then you've got uh, Watchers of the Throne in paperback. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. I I finished that one quicker than. Um, the Emperor's Legion, actually. Uh, I really enjoyed both of those uh, custod Custodes uh, novels by Chris Ray. Really did. And I, I can't can't gush enough about them. They're, they're brilliant. And they take place pretty much in today's world in the 40k um, universe. Um, you know, what I mean by that is with uh, Gilliman and things. The Harusian Wars, Divination. Uh, that's out on paperback. Osun Conquests. And so is Farsight. And then the sleeves and the dice... Well, these dice, the Snotling team, they look very, very nose pickerish, don't they? <laughs> Eight pounds, and then um, yeah, that's the that's the only other pre-order there in that little selection. The other dice were uh, available last weekend, so yeah, quite a lot up for pre-order. Uh, such a large variety. Um, I, I'm confident that next weekend it'll be more focused, and we'll have a spotlight set back onto Warhammer 40k, and we'll be looking at um, you know either either Primaris or Necrons. Um, maybe even some Age of Sigma Realm Lords uh, and uh, get back on track with the uh, Horus Heresy. Uh, I think that today's reveal will have something about the Dark Angels and, and uh, a closer look at those kind of things. A um, closer look at maybe the um, full-size carapace weapons for Warlord Titans and Reaver Titans. And I, I really hope that that's the case, but we'll find out in, in a little while, probably by the time that I've edited this video and uploaded it, We've, we will have had the reveal. Please do keep uh, it spoiler free in the comments, I guess, uh, at least until I uh, have been able to catch up and uh, create a video on the reveals today. Anyway, what's uh, your favorite pre-order today? Uh, have you pre-ordered anything? Have you been holding out for the nose pickers? <laughs> um, please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. I wanna say thank you again for all of your concern uh, during this time for me. I don't want to go into too much detail, but it's been uh, incredibly difficult two weeks for me and it's very hard for me to keep uh, everything going 
keep up to date with with things so if you see that i haven't released a video in a day or two please don't be too worried or concerned uh, i will try and sort of catch up um, but again i want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys uh, and your support and the community and um, for for getting me through this this uh, this time it's definitely been uh, a thing that's been been keeping me going so thank you again and i hope all of you uh, are, are doing well and uh, are fit and healthy and um uh, and you're enjoying life. Um, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.